Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, as you can see, looking at the Commodore 64 again here. Um, that is an Amiga 500 CIA, an 8520A1. Um, I was just thinking about this over the weekend, and I thought I'll have a look at the pinouts here and see if uh, see what they've got in common with these 6526s. And they're actually identical. The only difference between the two is the, the, the Amiga 500 versions are rated for a higher frequency. I think we'll run at um, two megahertz. It might be one. I don't know. I know the the standard ones are one megahertz, and that you know for the 6526s, and you can get two megahertz versions. They're in some of the floppy drives and things. I think the Amiga uses the two megahertz versions as well. But the only other difference beyond that is the um, DOT, you know, the uh, day of, uh, sorry, TOD, time of day thing. It's like the real time clock type stuff that's built into these. I think um, it gives it out in a slightly different format. I think it's like a 20, some sort of 24 bit format instead of a um, binary um, decimal type thing going on or something there. So there was, there's a difference there, but I did wonder um, what effect that would have. Um, if I switch this on now, you'll see it, it just works. Um, I need to test a bit more thoroughly, but I thought I'm going to give this a go, just see how effective these are. Um, are there any problems, problems with you know keyboard input, serial, etc., etc., you know, and just the controllers and things? I just play a few different games on it, test it a bit with a few different apps and things, and just see what happens. And I'll report back in a few minutes. Well, this is very interesting. I've tested it with numerous games and things here, and apps and carts and all sorts of things, and it just works. It just works fine. So maybe that um, time of day stuff is just not utilised very much on the C64. I'm not saying it's, it will work for everything. It's not going to be 100% compatible, but uh, I'd hazard a guess at maybe 99% compatible, maybe more. Um, certainly from the volume of games I've just tested on this, um, there were just no issues. At all, um, it might be a better test if I'd, so you know, if my other CIA was socketed in around with two 8520s. But um, yeah, I'm shocked. I really am. On all the years, um, I've been given incorrect advice and in retrospect because someone did ask me, "Can I put an Amiga CIA in there?" I was like, "No, oh, no, no, you can't do that. They're different." Actually, they're not. Oh, they're, they're pretty much the same. It's just the time of day stuff. Um, and as I say, I just don't think anything really uses it on the 64. I mean, that might not be the case with both CIAs. It might be that one of them, um, that functionality is used, the other is not. I did wonder if this game would skip, if there were a problem with those the timers related to that. But, um, you know, as you'd seen in my, one of my previous CIA videos here, the faults there, I was having the last ninja where it was skipping the intro. But this was a good test, and this doesn't skip the intro. So, um, yeah, you learn something every day, I guess. Let's just skip this, start the game, just make sure it works. I'm tempted to leave that in there for a period of time, actually, and just see how I get on with it for a few weeks. Maybe I could do an update video or something for discover any incompatibility issue, but... Yeah, I'm amazed. Um, it's sort of... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good news, but I'm a bit disappointed in myself, really, because I've ended up, you know, um, I've got the one I took out there, um, I've ordered a couple more CIAs just based on the fact I thought, you know, God, you know, these are they are common to go, um, and I think I was down to my last one. Yeah, I got my last one there, um, which is a shame because I don't have any other spares beyond that other than on working boards. You know, I've got a th three or four. four I think I've got three or four. I think I've got four actually. Four of the C64s here of uh, various types and things, and they've all got working CIAs. Um, but yeah, then that one spare, I haven't got any, so I did, um, I ordered a couple off eBay. Um, I think the A's, so I think the 6526A's, um, they might even be R4's, I don't know, so those are coming soon. And I also ordered a couple from China, um, just on the, you know, I thought I'd give it a try, they could be re reproached, they might not even work, but I thought I'll give it a try, they worked out three or four quid each. So I'll report back on those um, in a later video. But I mean, that, that gives me four spares. But like I say, you know, the reason I was a bit disappointed in myself, you know, really, that it's took me a while to work this out myself. Um, and uh, I've got a bunch, you know, I've got three CIAs there, you can see. Um, and I've probably got three or four more somewhere else as well. I don't know where they are, probably one of the other boxes. So I've got a fair few um, 8520s. Um, I think, is that the right number? Yeah, 8520. Anyway, so, yeah, 
thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you soon.